Welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. Let's create a logo using Adobe Photoshop. First step is to set up the page. Go to File, New. And here give page resolution. You can give any resolution, it doesn't matter. And create it. After creation of page, now go to Toolbar and select this Ellipse tool. By using Shift key on your keyboard, Drag it and make it a circle. Let's increase the stroke width of the circle. So from here, I'll increase it. Let's uh, give 15. Enter. And place it at the center. Now select this. Go to edit. Copy. Edit. Paste in place. Now drag it down using Alt key on your keyboard and mark it. Now from the toolbar select this text tool and here write B. Drag this and make the size bigger. Now drag it by using Alt key and make a duplicate. Now go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. Let's zoom in. By using right arrow key on your keyboard, take it a little bit towards right hand side. Now from the toolbar, select this rectangular tool. And here draw a rectangle from here to here. And fill this rectangle with color. And remove this stroke. Now select this rectangle. And drag it by using Alt key and make a duplicate. And place it here. Now drag it down by using shift key. So here we'll make a gap up to this much. And I'll change the color so that you can notify it. Now let's drag this by using Alt key and place it here. Now select them, do right click and rasterize it. After rasterizing, select this one, do quick selection. Now select this B and press delete key on your keyboard select this one press delete key Control d and remove the selection and delete it similarly select this one do quick selection select this b press delete key select this one press delete key now Control d on your keyboard and remove the selection and delete it now from the toolbar select this ellipse tool after selection of this ellipse tool from here, select this path option and using shift key here draw a circular path and now take this direct selection tool and here do right click over this and free transform path and using arrow key take it at the center and drag it using alt key. And make sure you are placing this circular path at the midst of these two circles. And mark it. And now take this text tool and here write the text. So here write the company name. After writing this company name, mark it. And increase the size of the text. So from here you can increase the size. Let's give 30, enter. So 30 will be too big. Let's give 22. So this one seems perfect. Let's take this one down. So I'll I'll do uh, I'll take this direct selection tool, and after that I'll do right click over this free transform, and I'll drag it down using Alt key mark it so we need to take this one little more down so similarly repeat the same process to right click again free transform and take it little more down and mark it now it looks it is at the center after doing that now we'll uh, increase the gap in between the text so for that go to character and here give the space in between the text 
so let's give 30 enter let's give 70 enter let's give 120 so we can give little more 150 so it is coming up to here yeah this much is perfect and now I'll drag this layer and I'll make a duplicate of this circular text so to this new layer what I'll do I'll take this direct selection tool and here I'll drag it inside and I'll rotate it like this after doing that do right click over this free transform and drag it outside using alt key and match up with this text so let's take it more down so repeat the process I'll just delete this and here I'll write the down text now from the toolbar take this star tool so here you can't see any star tool so you need to select this polygon tool and instead of path now select the shape and click here so number of sides you can give here five and here is a here you can mark it for a star and okay and fill this star remove this outline color and bring this star here drag it down using alt key mark here and bring it at the center drag it using alt key and make a duplicate and place it here now select this one and bring it at the center and drag it down using alt key and drag it down using shift key and place it at the center now from the toolbar select this pen tool and here draw a shape like this press alt key and complete the shape now fill this shape with color now drag it by using alt key and make a duplicate and place one here select this one and rotate it up to this much mark it drag it again using alt key and make a duplicate go to edit transform and horizontal flip and uh, take it towards right hand side using right arrow key on your keyboard now select them drag it using shift key drag it using alt key and make a duplicate select both and drag it again and make more duplicate here now select them and drag it down using alt key and make duplicate now select them and drag it using shift key now select it and from here do right click and merge shapes after merging shapes you can drag it more if you want like this and mark it now select it go to edit transform and wrap and here you can see this wrap option is there this custom so here I'll select this arc after selection of this and you can click over this and here you can increase the blending uh, this value from here so instead of 50 you can give 100 and mark it now drag it down and bring it here now select it 
and go to edit copy edit paste in place again go to edit transform and flip horizontal and using arrow key take it towards right hand side now select this one and this one and rasterize it after rasterizing select it take eraser tool and just simply erase this and similarly select this one take eraser tool and erase this and from down also erase it now place this one at the center and bring it here now from the toolbar take this pen tool and here draw a line like this and increase the stroke from here give 10 enter give 12 now drag it using alt can make a duplicate edit transform and horizontal flip now let's change the color of the logo now our logo is ready let's unmark this background select them all do right click and merge it after merging open the mockup file if you don't have this mockup file then you can check the description and download it so let me open the mockup file now double click at the top layer of the mockup drag our transparent logo over the new tab of the mockup and leave it here increase the size using shift key mark it unmark this original mockup background close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied and here is the final result hope you understand all the steps if you like this tutorial you can subscribe us and see you in next video